Hello everyone. <laughs> We're back with the diamond art again. The lovely sounds it makes. I've been working on it a bit. I'd say I have around a fourth of it done. Like if you were to cut it down the middle and then this way. I have roughly this section done, so I'd say I have about a fourth of it done, so still a long way to go, <laughs> which is exciting because I really, really enjoy working on this, and I haven't done it in a few days, actually. When I first started, I was, like, constantly <laughs> working on it, but then I kind of slacked off and got busy. Life happens, but I've been dying to get back into it, so I'm excited for that. Alright, let's peel back the tape for the section that we're working on. And I hate how, see how this part's all curled up? I have a book sitting on this edge to keep it flattened. And then I have my cup up here to kind of hold that section down too. Then I have little pieces of tape to stick down and hopefully hold it down so that we can work on this. And if you hear purring, my cat is <laughs> right here in my hoodie, snuggled up. I love the way it feels. I can't wait till this whole thing is done. And my nails All right, where to begin? I think I don't remember if I had enough wax on this one I left off, so I'll just be on the safe side and dip our little utensil in the wax again. Just to be sure that we can pick up our diamonds. I think I got enough. <laughs> we'll see. Oh, and then I also got this out. It's like a little... I don't know if you can even see it. It's like a little fake candle. I don't think you can really see it though. I'm gonna set it somewhere. Hmm. Oh man, if only it weighed more. I could have it sitting there. Hmm. I don't really like the way it's showing up. It looks so cute in the darkness, but in the light, it's just not really not what I thought it was gonna look like. Alright, well, we tried. <laughs> it's a fun idea. I also think, like, um, having a candle out would be some good ambiance for this, too. But then again, <laughs> this is already very tedious, and I'm a rather clumsy person, so <laughs> it might not be the best idea. Alright, where do I want to start? I think I'll begin with filling out the little ones that I don't have filled in down here with a little few gaps and then I'll work here this edge and I kind of started on but not very much so first color it's this shape that looks like a thick upside down T which is A22 oh and a few days ago so like I have all these, um, you know, the diamond packets over here, and my cat, my little stinker, had run across the table. <laughs> Thank goodness they're all sealed up and stuff, but um, they, the packets like slid to the floor and stuff. 
like the little goodness, so hopefully I found them all because if there's still some on the floor or it's gotten lost, <laughs> that wouldn't be very fun. A22. It's one that I've already used, so I know it's one of these ones that's been open, but it's now taped shut. A22. What color is it? It's like a brownish black. There's A23. An A20. A14. A30. Here we go. A22. Oh, I remember this one. This is that really pretty, like, on the code uh, thingy down here. It looks like a brown black color, and same as the little things, but the actual diamonds themselves, I don't know if you can really see. They're this super pretty dark, dark green color. I really like it. All right. So this um, kit didn't come with like little Ziploc bags to put the diamonds in, so I just have been folding them and taping them shut. If you saw my last video on this, I showed how I do that. Oh, my cat snoring. The only issue is getting it untaped. <laughs> hey, I'd rather it be taped down really well than it be spelling out diamonds. So that there's not very many of this color left because I think this might just be one of my favorite colors in this whole thing. Just such a nice dark green color. I don't know what it is about it. I also really like the some of the purples and the darker blues in here. Wow, we're almost out of this color. Alrighty, let's give it a shake. Okay. I think I'll actually set this down here on the other diamonds. Alright, let's begin. Upside down T shape. Yep, yeah, okay. I just like to double check because. There we go, we got a good amount of wax. And I realized, um, like when I first started, um, this whole, you know, space was blank. So it was just like that free real estate meme. <laughs> it's free real estate. So there was a lot more space to cover and it was like more, um, dots that were like close together. And then the farther along you go, it's more like, oh, here's one, and then you look, look, oh, here's one, here's one, instead of them being, like, clustered, you know? At least in my experience. This is only my first time diamond arting, diamond painting. Um, here we go. Here's a little line of them. Have you guys ever seen that Disney movie called, oh, what is it called? I just watched it last night. The Rescuers. It's um, a Disney movie from 1977, I think. And it's about those little mice that rescue that uh, little orphan girl. It is such a good movie. I watched it again last night because I, I love Disney movies and I watch them quite often, 
but that specific one I hadn't seen since I was a little kid. I really liked it though, and I still like it, but it's just one of those ones that, you know, slips under the radar and you kind of forget about it as you grow up. So I watched it again last night, and I was impressed with how much I remembered, but also, like, the, the form of animation from back then, like the way that it just looks is so, so beautiful and satisfying to look at. Like, it looks like every single frame is, you know, like, hand-drawn, and you can tell, like, so much time and dedication and love was put into it. And I just really, really, um, I think that's, like, my favorite form of animation is that old-school Disney look. And I only know it was made in 1977 because I, um, googled it last night because I was like, what, um, when is this from? Like, I love it so much. And then I was looking up other ones that are from the 1970s and stuff, and, um, it's just such a beautiful time for me, and not just, just the 70s, but just, back long ago. I'm looking for some more. Was that the last one? Oh no, there's some up here. But it's so beautiful and also um, the way that their voices sound, it's like not overproduced. I don't know how to explain it. It's just like it made me feel really, really cozy and at home and it just felt, it was like a, like a comfort movie. Like so feel good and Whoops. See the little guy? Gotta scoop him in place. Here we go. And the songs from that movie. Oh, it's beautiful. There's this scene where the two mice are on an airplane. <laughs> and the airplane is actually an I think it's he's an albatross, albatross airlines. Uh, basically, they're on the back of a bird, right? <laughs> and it's so cute. They're in this little um, sardine can that is strapped to this bird's back, and this bird is their pilot, right? <laughs> then they, um, like you know, a tin of sardines. Well, I've never eaten sardines, but like has that kind of thing, and then you like, you do this, I don't know how to explain it, uh, but like, I guess like the way you close it, you like twist the things on the side, and then like the, the tin slowly closes, they, um, sat in this sardine box, and they twisted the things, and that was like, kind of secured them into place, like closed them in, into their little, uh, seat. And then they, there was also like little seat belts in there. It was just so cute. And the bird has these um, goggles that he wears, you know, and he's got his scarf and whatnot. Like, it's just so cute. And just like the little details like that are so adorable. And the girl mouse, she, whoops, uh, her name is Bianca. And um, on Aristocats, the mother cat, Duchess, uh, it's the same voice actor. I don't know her name, but, and I'm pretty sure she's the lady off of Green Acres. I might be wrong, but I'm, I'm like 90% sure, so it'll be embarrassing if I'm wrong, but I think it's her. I love, love, love the sound of her voice and her accent, and, um, every character I've seen her ever play or voice act has just been amazing. But anyway, this little mouse, she is super optimistic. The girl mouse is, and then the boy mouse, his name is Bernard. And he's really, I don't know why I'm telling you the plot of this movie. <laughs> it's, it's still fresh on my mind, but he's really like uh, super nervous, but he tries to be brave and it's so cute. And when they're taking off on the bird, he is like, 
terrified and she's just having a blast she thinks it's so fun and she thinks the bird is such a good flyer and meanwhile the other the boy mouse bernard is like having a panic attack which i would be too because uh yeah that's just so cute and she has on her little like purple hat and she's got this perfume that she sprays and it's just so cute and i just love the way that it's like the little details like that and stuff Let's see. Very good movie. Oh, and then, so as they're flying on this bird, there's this uh, song that plays, and I can't remember what it says right now, but it's just very beautiful, and the, like, whole scene of them just flying, you know, and, like, the sunset and all this stuff, it's just so, like, pretty to look at. song is beautiful. It's just so beautiful. Oh my goodness, I moved my foot and I was asleep and now it's doing that tingling thing. Oh, it hurts so bad. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my goodness. I remember when I would be sitting on the mat in like elementary school while the teacher would be like reading a book or whatever. And then when it's time to stand up and go back to your seat you know you've been sitting crisscross applesauce this whole time my legs or my you know either my legs or my feet would always be asleep and they'd be like okay you know you can go back to the carpet now or go back to to your desk now and i was like i can't move <laughs> plus i've always been like super shy so this was incredibly embarrassing for me so i remember constantly like trying to wiggle around and like boom my feet while you know I was sitting at the carpet <laughs> just because I knew that they would fall asleep and I couldn't move after okay it's kind of easing up now I think I think I got all of the A22s in this little section that I have peeled back I don't see any that I'm missing hmm Okay. I think that's good. So we will put them back in the, the little baggie and then tape it back shut. Speaking of that movie, um, the, I think you call her like the villain, she, her name's Medusa actually, and she's this fiery red-haired, and I'm also a redhead, so, <laughs> um, that's pretty funny, but she's this red-haired, uh, crazy-eyed, um, kind of evil woman. But she's so well written and like, I don't know, just the way that she's animated and moves around. It's just like, she has such a strong personality and she like clomps around and she walks and she yells and she points her finger. Um, but then there's this scene that I, re I remember, even though the Medusa character scared me when I was little because she's so, <laughs> I mean, she's meant to be scary. She's she's the bad guy and she's pretty evil um where she's sitting in front of her mirror and she's taking off her makeup and she wears a lot of makeup <laughs> and there's it's just like it's like asmr in a way and the whole time that she's taking off the makeup she's like um pretty much making the little orphan girl cry which is not fun at all, and it's just, oh, my heart breaks for that little girl. But just watching her sit in front of her, her mirror and just take off her makeup, it's just, I 
don't know. It's like, it's like ASMR and like, I don't know how to explain it. I wish that, um, like kids movies today had, not that they don't have scenes like that. I don't know how to explain it. Like Frozen comes to mind and that type of like more, um, fancy <laughs> kind of like, what would you call it? Like 3D animation? Um, I think watching Anna just sit and take off her makeup you know, or Elsa, like that would just, I don't know how to explain what I'm saying, but like just little mundane scenes like that where it's not exactly advancing the plot. It's just, it's just, I don't know, just like a little mundane task just put into the movie and it's just so fascinating to me. Like I would honestly just watch a whole movie if somebody did that. Okay, let's see. Um, it bothers me because there's this little square right here that's not put in. But I don't see a whole lot of other squares, so I think I might just come back to it later. Um, there's some blue peas down here. Not very many, but I'm trying to find one that has like the most... Hmm. Maybe oh, these black circles up here. Yeah, I think I'll do that one. There's quite a bit of those. Okay, black circles, A24. Oh, right here. I think this is the, the thickest one in the whole package because I know I've used this one like so much already and there's still so many in there. But it's just black. Just black. So something about me is I love to listen to um, songs on repeat or just even movies, like play them over and over and over again. And whoops, my most. Recent one is Oh What a Night by Oh goodness, I don't even I can't even remember right now, but I've just been playing that song on loop over and over again. Oh what a night. It's gonna be stuck in my head again now. Late December back in sixty three. So good. It's so like it's like a feel good song, catchy. Definitely stuck in my head. I feel like I always have a song stuck in my head. I think the last time I did this, Hercules, like one of those songs, was really stuck in my head. Here we go. I love how shiny these are. Like I'm right in front of a window and just like when I when I move I can see the light reflecting on all of them, especially these black ones. It's very pretty. Sleepy little thing. I wish I was a cat sometimes. I get to sleep <laughs> every time that I have to leave the house to go somewhere that it, like I really don't want to. I feel so jealous of my cat. <laughs> like you don't even realize how lucky you are. You just get to stay here feed you good, I take care of you, I cuddle you, I spoil you. You don't have to go anywhere that you don't want. <laughs> Cats are living the dream. And dogs.
I didn't nudge it into place. <laughs> I don't know if you can really see, but probably not, but like right out right here, there's like this whole line of these black ones. And I love when that happens, there's like a bunch of them close together. I don't know if you can even see because the paper, or it's not paper, it's plastic. The plastic. And I get that it's, you know, it's necessary to have this on because it keeps all these, you know, all this stuff from losing its stickiness. But I feel like this would go by a lot faster if I didn't have to uh, uncover it section by section. Trying to nudge him into place. Give it a good shake. Most of them up here. I know there's some some of this color down here still though. Thought I picked one up. Hopefully I didn't drop it. <laughs> I've definitely done that before. Did I drop it again? What in the world? I know I picked one up. I saw it. <laughs> That's how you know you need more wax. <laughs> it starts dropping it, it's just not picking it up. Definitely time to read it. today actually. Very slick and dangerous and lots of people are you know, staying home if they're able to. It's a very, this is a very cozy <laughs> indoor thing when you can't leave the house. Roads are slick and all home and do a little craft. Watch a little movie. Do something you like. 
Oh, I was also gonna make bread today. I think that'd be fun. Not, not like anything fancy or whatever. I saw this um, recipe last night for some. Actually, it's like in the air fryer bread. Like some pretty quick and easy. Let's see if I can remember. It was two cups of flour, one teaspoon of yeast, and one cup of water, I think. It was just like three ingredients, air fryer bread. Now, oh wait, no, 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 no. Did I say, okay, water, did I say salt? I didn't. Oh, so I guess you didn't count the water as an ingredient because there's salt. So it's two cups of flour, one teaspoon of yeast, and a fourth a teaspoon of salt. Now, I love salt, and I know there's like, you know, the way the salt and yeast, yeast, that's a weird word, um, interact with each other? I don't know. But, I, anytime I cook, I change up recipes a little bit. So I think I, I'm going to do a little bit more salt. Not a lot at all, just just enough to say that I did. <laughs> and then also some, I think like a pinch of sugar. Cause I feel like sugar, I don't know, I just feel like when you make, when I made bread before, I feel like it has sugar in it, I don't know. Just a little bit, like you don't want it to taste sweet, you just, Oops, bring out the flavor or whatever. So, that and then one cup of water. I'm trying to remember it so that I can <laughs> do it sometime today, I hope. Um, oh, here's another line of them. I like that when they're all together. So, what she did was she put it in, she put the dry ingredients in the bowl, mixed them up, then poured in the water, mixed that up. Then she covered it with plastic wrap and let it sit for, I think it was an hour and 45 minutes. I'll have to watch the video again. And then she, let's see, took the plastic wrap off. Oh, and before she had put the plastic wrap on, she oiled the sides of the bowl so that when she went to mix it later, once it had risen a bit, it wouldn't be so sticky. But like, it's just naturally a stickier dough anyway. Oh, I think it's no knead too. Like knead is in like <laughs> rub, you know? So after the hour and 45 minutes, she mixed it up and I feel like she might have covered it again for 30 minutes. I don't have to watch it, but I know that she did. She took um, her pan thing that she was going to put in the air fryer. But it's just like a really simple bread, and she oiled it up really good. Then put that, scraped that sticky dough down into it, and then put it back in the air fryer with the dough in, not turned on. Like didn't turn on the air fryer for another 30 minutes to let it, you know, rise again because bread is all about rising, rising, rising. And then once it had risen, she took it back out of the air fryer, sprinkled some flour on the top and put some sesame seeds on the top. And then she put it in the, put it back in the air fryer for 25 to 30 minutes at 380 degrees Fahrenheit. What I would do, or what I will, you know, be doing is, so how she put the flour on the top, I'll definitely do that. And then instead of sesame seeds, because I don't have any, I wish I did, I love them. I'm gonna put um, everything bagel seasoning on top because there's this one bread that I get from Walmart sometimes. And I think it's just called like everything seasoning bread or something like that. But it's like this fresh loaf of bread. 
covered in like everything bagel seasoning and it's so good and so like garlicky and salty and I love it so I'm gonna make that you know myself or attempt to <laughs> Our bread came out like really good and really soft and it looked super beautiful and that's why I wanted to make it so try to memorize the that recipe I think I have it down good enough see like that's me like I'll watch a video once and then um go like immediately into <laughs> making the food without writing it down you know or double checking Cause I'm like, oh, I got this. And then inevitably, something always goes wrong. Because I forgot a step because I only watched the video once. <laughs> so, hopefully I'm not forgetting anything this time. But I should definitely go and check again. Because, you know, it's like a, it's, it's a, sure you have to like let it rise a while, but it's a relatively easy, um, bread. So. And I've never made bread in the air fryer before, so I thought that would be really fun to try. And I've also never made bread with uh, everything bagel seasoning on top. So I'm very excited for that too. You know how sometimes you like stay up too late and then you just end up watching like the most random stuff on YouTube? That's kind of where I ended up. So. I'm actually just now remembering that video and that I was even going to make it, so I'm glad that I did though. What a lady, what a night. It's still stuck in my Late December back in 63. She was everything. Is this a dream she'd be? Something. What a lady, what a night. I've listened to it on loop so many so many times you'd think I'd know <laughs> the words by now. Let's see here. See, and then like how I was just talking and thinking about the bread, I completely went on autopilot working on this, so I always have this moment where I like realize I really got into the zone on something and wasn't even focusing on this and I'm like, oh you know, hopefully hopefully I did okay and like put them in the right spots and let's see black circles there's some here i think we got most of them in this uncovered part oops so hard to reach underneath the covered part and get that, which is, um, probably why you shouldn't do that. <laughs> Let's see, is there any more? Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. There's a couple up here at the top. The tippy top. Boop. Boop. see me but I'm like full on <laughs> dancing over here. Just such a fun song. Oh lordy. Look, you didn't see that. Don't judge me. That didn't even happen. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> oh gosh. No, you're not in the right spot. Just scoot over. Come on, come on. Oh come on. Almost there. 
there. There, we'll leave it. Okay, and there's just two more underneath it. Come on. Whoops. Oh my goodness. I'm losing my mind, guys. <laughs> this almost almost empty it's all over and that would have not been too fun right actually that would be smart of me to close it every time before i pour these back in the thing well wow, it's kind of risky because i've been you know pouring it over here but still this is uncovered and if these spilled everywhere they could land on parts where they shouldn't like that one just did up there hmm at me thinking smarter not harder now that I've already <laughs> spent hours Alrighty. let's pour these bad boys back in Winter's getting to me. Alrighty. Thank you guys for spending this time with me. Just getting to hang out, do some diamondy stuff, chit chat about Disney movies and music, weather and cats, and bread. Definitely the bread. See, I already forgot about that. I need to write that down. I actually had this over here so that I could write things to say or talk about, but then I forgot to do that, so there we go. Alright. Oh, mm, this pin's not want to work. Make. Where's my pen running out? Make. just like <laughs> make bread today can you see that because <laughs> bread isn't you know you have to let it rise and like the first time that you let it rise is like an hour and 45 minutes so you gotta like take that into consideration like bread technically it, i mean it's easy but it takes hours to do so i need to start that now actually all right i'm gonna go make some bread <laughs> hopefully that goes well Hope you're able to relax, enjoy the rest of your day or evening or whatever it may be. Alright. Love you guys. Bye. <laughs>